Hello there and welcome back to the Achievement Planner and today I'm coming to you with Star Wars Jedi Survivor and this may be my favorite Star Wars game of all time and yeah even better than the first one I love this game just spoiler alert I love it yeah spoiler to what I think about it this game was so good and it's more open worldy than if that's a word of the, than the first one there's just so much more to it um, in fact, I, I would say it's about 97% perfect. You're 98, 99% perfect. Yeah, there's one thing, two things actually that kind of, kind of made me really frustrated. But I'll go over those. Uh, 53 achievements for 1,000 gamer score, three out of 10 difficulty, completion time 40 to 50 hours, and playthrough number one all achievements. And this, because you can keep going back and doing stuff. And this game, honestly, I didn't want to stop. I just wanted to keep going and do more. Yeah. So, category number one, story achievements. 14 achievements for 265 gamer score. And just by playing the story, you will get all these achievements. Yeah. What a story. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, and I mean, I'm, I'm big into Star Wars and its lore. So, this really added so much. All right. Category number two, miscellaneous achievements. 11 achievements for 145 gamer score. Number one, cleaning up. Five gamer score. Refresh to refresher and you go to this level called Kobo. It's actually the second level you go to It's like your main level and you go to this cantina and I won't tell you about it uh, other than the things I need to but but in this cantina It's kind of like your home base where you stay where you can keep going back to There is a room with a toilet and you have to use the force on the toilet to flush it And that is how you get this achievement. Isn't that lovely? Yes. All right, number two. But by the way, a lot of achievements are on Kobo. That's like the main planet. It's super big. All right, All right number uh, two. Can you pet the Boggling? Yeah, game, five gamer score. You can pet the Boggling. And when you see a Boggling, which is a little little cute creature, just pet it. Yeah, then you get the achievement. Number three, reconnaissance. Fifteen gamer score. Use BD one to investigate a target in the distance. So BD one is your is your droid, and it's it's a, also cute. And you can, there's an ability to, you have the ability to pick it up and use its eyes as your own eyes to see through it. Yeah, to scan it because it scans everything. And once you do that once, you get that achievement. It was really easy. I was like, oh, that was easy. Number four, Skywalker. 15 gamer score. Kept your feet off the ground and walls for 60 seconds. So you might think that you can do this easily, but the problem is you really can't. That's a long time. However, there are three ways I've heard you can do it. The first way is the way I did it, where you grab onto the feet once you once you uh, tame this like bird animal thing. I forget the name, but you can hold onto the feet and just fly around with it in this area. Um, you'll see it's like it's, well, you probably see in the video it's like all like lava, -y. and you just go around and keep getting blown up by the little uh, air air things, whatever. I don't know what words are, you know, but yeah, and, and you just keep going 60 seconds. This is where most people do it. Now, I also heard that if you go on a metal rod, like you swing on a metal rod, that if you stay on it for a minute, you can get this achievement. I did not know that by the time I played this game, but I heard you could do that. Or if you are like using your lightsaber to go down um, a long, a long tunnel, like sometimes you're falling all the way down, you'll use your lightsaber in the wall to kind of like shh, I don't know what the sound effect, but yeah, you can maybe get it that way too. But yeah, the metal rod is what people are, seem to be using now. Uh, but the original way was that that flying bird thing. All right, number five. Now this isn't pod racing. Fifteen gamer score traveled five hundred, uh, I guess meters of distance while riding creatures. So yeah, you might get this while playing. I actually just did it for a while and finished it. Um, oh, the tracker in this game works really well, by the way. Uh, the the achievement tracker. Um, but yeah, but you'll probably get this throughout the game. If not, just jump on something and ride it. Yeah. Six, greasy money. And this is for trading 25 collected items. You're going to have so many collected items eventually, and you're going to trade m probably so many. So yeah, you'll get this through gameplay. So, uh, there are a couple places you could trade them in the cantina. Um, actually also at, 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 at the lady across the way too. Seven, there is no try. Help. Helped lift a ship out of the tar pits. So in Kobo, you're going to find this ship that's stuck in the tar. And you need to have the lift ability eventually. So this is going to be something you have to go back to once you have that ability. And then lift it out. 
and then you can recruit the the character, the robot that's trying to get the, the ship out. Eight, King of the World reached the highest point of Harvest Ridge. And what this is, is there are different meditation points on, at different locations because this game is fantastic where it actually has like fast travel. And at one point called Harvest Ridge on the map, you can see a meditation point. You got to get to this meditation point. Now, and it's not that far from the cantina. So you need to end up getting there. Then you need to do this stuff with, with, the, with the two, um, the, the mounts. So you, you get the ability to ride mounts and you get these, the, these fellows and you're riding them. You have, so you're going to have to use your powers. It's a big puzzle. I'm, just, I'm not going to tell you any more details with that. But eventually you will be able to get up to the top of that. Um, I, don't, I may put up a guide. I may put up actually a whole bunch of guides. I don't know what I'm going to do. But this will be in there somewhere probably. Just because it might be difficult. You know, for everybody to understand how to get up there. But once you get up there, it's great. You can see you can get to a lot of places. So yeah, you just have to get to the top of that building. Uh, it's like it's like a tower. It's a, it's, it's very uh, Assassin's Creed esque. Um, so the next one is it's a trap. Oh, Admiral Akbar. Yeah. So explore the funky caverns. It's called the funky caverns. Yeah. So right by the, the cantina, there is this like little shack, and you have to basically go down the shack, into the basement of the shack, and you will get to the funky caverns. But you need the lift ability before you can actually go anywhere. All right, so you need to do that. So you can try to go in there, but you're not gonna get very far. Yeah, but there is a meditation point in there, so you can open that up. But once you get in there, keep going to the end, go. and then eventually you will not only find a lot of characters in there that you can kill, but bounty hunters, uh, collectibles, but you end up getting at the end the map upgrade for BD1, that shows you where things are. I forget which ones. I th uh, this might be the the priorite shards, which you need to get. Uh, yeah, that was a good. That was an important one. All right, the next one is ten, the Jedi path, fully upgraded three skill trees. Yeah, I fully upgraded most, of, almost all of the skill skill trees. So this was very easy. Number th eleven, they're probably fine. Oh my gosh, fifteen gamer score dropped your mount into the great unknown. Yeah, that how horrible. So you take the mount and you're riding it. And then you jump off the edge of a big mountain or whatever. And then you, you do your dash to save yourself. You have to survive. And they die. And then you get the achievement. Even though it took like five tries for me. Yeah, some people are having trouble with it unlocking. So just keep doing it till you get it. All right, category three, customization achievements. Five achievements for 45 gamer scores. So this is all stuff that you're customizing your outfits, your hair, whatever. Number one, hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Well, hey, look at us. Oh my gosh. 15 gamer score. Equip the new cosmetic in every cow slot. Yeah, so just make sure he has all the slots. He has the hair. He has the shirt. He has the pants. You know, just make sure you put a new cosmetic. That wasn't one that you started with. You know, it could be it could be anyone. Number two, kit it out. 15 gamer score. Customized BD1, the blaster, and cow's lightsaber with new parts. So yeah, once you get that blaster, that's probably going to be the last thing that you get. So you just have to customize them. Number three, since uh, wore an old wardrobe staple, and yes, I am going to tell you it is the um, the poncho. Yes, it is his poncho. You need to find the poncho, though. I'm not going to tell you where to find the poncho. You could find it or look at a guide if I put one up. All right, number four, Cobra Cal, train with your weapons while wearing a headband. So when you go to Jeddah, which is um, another another location, there is this random stormtrooper like thing propped up and once you find once you buy from doma she sees the lady across the way from the the cantina once you buy the headband you can put the headband on and go back and hit this thing and then you get achievement yeah so for that you need the headband and then for five roadhouse all right five five gamer score drop kicked an enemy while wearing a mullet so i bought the i found the mullet i found it and then i wore it uh, and then I, I had to know the cross guard stance, all right? So that the, the cross guard is the one that looks like a sword with that Kylo Ren uses in the newer movies. And once you use that stance, because you could change your different like lightsaber stances, you have to have the mullet, cross, cro the cross guard stance equipped, and then you sprint to the enemy with L, and then, you know, the stick, and then press X, and then as you approach them, you'll do a drop kick. I totally did it by accident, yeah. And then I got it. So yeah, so those last three are for getting the, the, the poncho, the headband, and the moa, basically. Alright? Category 4, combat achievements. 12 achievements for 180 gamer score. Um, number 1, they never... A lot of these achievements are going to end up being unlocked on the like, like the, skill, the skill tree. 
So it's going to take a while to get a lot of these. The ones in the beginning I had right away. Number one, they never saw it coming. 15 gamers. In fact, uh, they're all 15 gamers. So I won't say it. Striking an underwear enemy 20 times. So you're able to sneak up behind someone and do a sneaky move. Yeah, that that's pretty good. Number two, Han Slolo. <laughs> Oh, defeated 50 enemies under the effect of slow. Yeah, that was super easy too. You just do the slow move and then you can kill kill enemies. You get that very early. You've got a friend. Directed your companions to assist in 10 uh, combat 10 times each. So the first time you can do this is in level 1. And that is with Bode. And you just kind of say, go. Go, go, go kill them. You're like, he's like, okay. And then the second time you do it is level 4. And that is for a different character, even though, I don't know, you may be able to figure it out. But you tell that person to go do stuff. And that person is, yeah, is it's in, uh, I, th I think it was level four. But once you meet that person, you'll see. All right. Uh, and, oh, and that's in Jetta, by the way, the other person. So, yeah, so you just tell them to do it ten times. Four, repost. I think that's how you say it. Parry to force pull resisting enemies. So some enemies are tough. And you cannot force pull them near you. Like stormtroopers, you can force pull. But this one, you need to force pull them. They need to try to get away and try to hit you. And then you parry them. Which parrying you'll do a lot. As they're trying to hit you after the force pull that was unsuccessful. Yeah, that's what you have to do for that. It was really easy. Number five, mirror match. A confused enemy defeated an enemy of the same type. So once you learn confusion... And that's one of the skills. You say, hey, that person's bad. And then you confuse them and they kill. Like, let's say you confuse a stormtrooper. Yeah, then they'll kill another stormtrooper if they're next to them. Perfect. All right, the next one is um, uh, six. Get down from there. Attack 20 lifted enemies. So at some point, you'll learn the lift ability so you can lift them up in the air. You just have to kill them while they're in the air. You can't, you can't just hit them. You have to kill them. That is so Vader. Yeah, right? All right, number seven, catch. Hit three enemies with a single roller mine. So I have here where it is in Kobo, Kobo that I, I did it in the video. But so you basically, you just have to have three enemies near each other. You take these mine things that are rolling t near you. As long as it's not red, it won't blow up. Try to and try to get it to you. Have them all in a row, and then pick it up and like grab it towards you and throw it, as, you know, and then blow them up. So I did it right here. There are other places you can do it. Just keep trying different different places. And if you want to try uh, certain certain places over, just go to a meditation point, meditate, all the enemies will, will respawn, all right? Eight, slam dunk, slammed five enemies with a single use of force slam, that was really easy. You just, you lift them, you have to lift them all up, and then you slam them down, and you'll get that. Nine, this is canon. Oh, <laughs> that's funny, because things are canon in Legend. Push an enemy into the Shattered Moon mining cannon. I heard this was really hard. But for me, when you, you... Oh, it's the second time you go back to the Shattered Moon, by the way. Uh, yeah, you just push them into the cannon. So that was it. 10, 1 with the Force. Avoided 50 attacks using Force Evade. These these last three are the ones that I had all the way towards the end of the game that I got. Um, I just up, upgraded these, these skills last. So yeah, for this, you just press... You hold B. And you will literally just automatically dodge any attack. Yeah, so once your once your once your uh, force meter drains, kind of just wait a bit, may, you know, maybe kill some enemies, and then eventually it'll yeah, it'll come back, and then you do it just 50 times. That's all you have to do. Um, 11, so uncivilized. Defeated 10 enemies with shots using the point blank skill. So once you get that skill, it's basically like a parry where you have to shoot right before they hit you, and and they're, they're gonna do a little Han Solo um, you know, stance and shoot. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a quick shoot, but yeah, you have to do that 10 times. It was kind of annoying, to be honest. 12, pinpoint, executed 10 perfectly timed precision releases. So this is with the dual wielding lightsabers. That's the two lightsabers. And what you need to do is basically, you have, you have to go near them, and then press Y to force block. So you, you hold Y, and then as soon as they hit it, you release, and it, you're, then you're going to do this precision release move. Yeah, so it's, pre it's pretty pretty cool. It was another, another one that was a little annoying for some reason, but yeah, you, you'll see how to use it once you unlock that move. All right, category five, collectible achievements. Five achievements for 105 gamer score. Um, number one, growth spurt. Uh, 15 gamer score, found space for a full garden. 
So on top of the cantina, you can plant seeds you find on Kobo. So yeah, you find the seeds, and there are ten different ones. So now you can you can you can fill these gardens up with the same seeds over and over and over. But the key is you need to at least plant one of each of the ten seeds somewhere. So when you fill the entire seed plot, um, then this other character who you you end up uh, recruiting will come there. And she will open up more areas for you to plant seeds. And once, once, once the, the the plants are grown in the in the first area, then she'll open those up. You plant more, and then she opens up the last area. But you need all ten at some point for that last area to open up. That was what I was waiting for. I was like, well, well how come it didn't work? I have plants in all, all the areas. Yeah, I needed all ten of them. So just keep looking around as as you're searching, you'll find them. Whenever you see plants that have like little bugs flying around it, that's probably something. You can hit and it's a seed. All right, number two, max capacity. Had a pack cantina. cantina. Um, I, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna, if I'm going to put up guides for this. If I do, I'll do it now. Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I think I may put up guides for this, but this one, same thing with the aquarium. Uh, you have to just find everybody. So just do all the missions. And for the aquarium, you have to go around and first you have to you have to recruit this this guy Scuva, uh, and then once he gets there to the cantina, you need to. Uh, find him everywhere with the fish. See, I'll probably put something up that'll show you where to, where to get the fish just in case you don't want to look on your own. Um, yeah, and number four, perk of the job. Equip perks in all slots. So for this, you end up getting more slots, more perk slots as you're doing things, as you find things. Um, I remember I remember I had to do a puzzle and then, and then I ended, something opened and I got a perk slot. Yeah, so you just keep collecting everything you find. And eventually, uh, like I said, you can get map upgrades to show you where to get stuff. But as you do that, you need 10 different slots filled in. Uh, you're going to have plenty of perks. You just need those slots opened up. Perk slot. Yeah, so as you're going through, you'll get that. Um, and like I said, I may, I, may have put up a, um, I may have put up a guide for all that. And the last one, Splurgle, 15 Gamer Score, purchased all of Doma's merchandise. And this was one of the things that made, made me not have it be 100% perfect because... I had to find priorite shards, and there are a hundred priorite shards, and you have to find all of them. You cannot find 90 of them. You have to find every one of them so you can purchase all her stuff. And honestly, that last five were so frustrating. Um, it, it was really frustrating, even with the, the map upgrade where it shows where the priorite shards are, because on the map it shows where it is, but it doesn't always show how to get to it. So, you know, so and like, like I said, I'll show you how to do it, but... But, wow, that was frustrating. Um, and I'd probably put up a guy for that, too. I'll probably put a guy for all this. I should probably stop saying it. You know that already. Category 6, completion achievements. Six achievements for 260 gamer score. So, number one. Oh, so these are the ones that I felt were more um, skill-based. The, the Category 5 was kind of just finding stuff. This is skill-based, in my opinion. Um, and I almost didn't have the skills for this. Number one, Gambler, 30 gamer score, won all hollow tactics matches. So once you recruit these two people, they go to the cantina, and then you can play these 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 hollow matches. And they're really cool. The only problem is I'm bad at them. So um, you but but you you can actually find guides to show you exactly who to do when uh, for this, so you can win. Yeah, how do you like that? But. Yeah, but it, but it, it was a really fun game. You have to kind of like pick which character, and then they, they automatically fight the other person. Yeah. And you have to get to the end of it. And by the way, the last character is, is a question mark. You can't find that character. As you're meeting characters throughout this game and recruiting them, that's why you have to recruit everybody first. You recruit them, then you can play them as uh, in this game. But that last character you don't get until you finish the first seven, I think. I think it was eight people. So, yeah. If, uh, once you finish all the other people, you, it will unlock automatically. Number two, Cage Match. 30 gamer score. Gained the attention of a mysterious stranger. So, once you recruit Cage, who is this girl. Uh, I think it was story, story, story progression. But, yeah. She has this cool hat. And she's like, hey, I have, I have bounty missions for you. And, and you have set to find every bounty she has. Once you kill them, you go back, you give her the, the you, you give her, you tell her you kill them, you get another bounty. You tell her you kill them, it keeps going until the end. Finally, you have to go back to where you found her. Once she disappears from the cantina, you have to go back to where you found her. And then I will not tell you what happens. But yeah, just keep doing what happens there and you'll get, you'll get that achievement. Number three, intergalactic ge ge geographic. 30 gamer score. Scanned every type of enemy to fill out the tactical guide. Now this, 
I also got at the same time as four. I'm a living legend, defeat all legendary adversaries. So I was just killing legendary adversaries and scanning everything as I went through the game. And by the, by the end, I had like maybe eight legendary adversaries left. And I was like, oh, all right, I got to go find them. So in the menu, you can see which, which things you've already scanned and which things you haven't. So I had to figure out which ones I didn't scan. And then I watched a guide that showed me where every single legendary adversary was, which to be honest was a little frustrating because I didn't really, yeah, I didn't know where everything was. But um, luckily it has fast travel. But I did that and as soon as I finished that last legendary, I got uh, achievement number three also. Which means I must have scanned every type of enemy except for all the legendaries at some point. So yeah, so just uh, look, at it, look, look at the guide if, if you need it. Otherwise, you'll probably get most of them. And number five, oh, five, five isn't so bad. Star Tours, 30 gamer score, discovered and completed all Jedi chambers. All right, I'm a big fan of the High Republic, and this is related to the High Republic. And I love these, actually. This is the, and I don't like puzzles, but these are puzzles in old, like, training chambers. And so you just have to finish all of them. That's it. And you, you get, I, I think I got a perk slot in one of them or two of them. Yeah, so you just have to finish all those. It's, those are all based on puzzles. That's not really skill, but there is skill to it though. It's not easy. Anyway, and then Blood, Sweat, and Tears, 70 gamer score, completed all force tears. My Blood, Sweat, and Tears was, no, no, that, that's weird. But anyway, um, yeah, this, this will almost made me give up on the 100% because I almost couldn't do it. There are these things where you go through these tears and I would say like two thirds or maybe four, four fifths even of these tears it's just you battling things you like you're in an arena area and you just have to kill enemies yeah that's it those are easy super easy and then there were four there were four force tears and they were all based on the parkour and if you've ever seen any of my videos i can't jump in games that's why i like games where you don't jump yeah anyway but so this is parkour stuff and it takes the four parkour main main um main mechanics and really just makes me miserable miserable yeah i was completely miserable i still can't believe i finished them all um i will definitely put up guides to show you how to do that just in case you you need help because wow yeah this almost made me give up but i didn't and i did it great uh i did it great i fi i finished the game and this game was great is what i was trying to say this game is so fantastic honestly besides that the force tears and the hollow tactics and collecting those prior right i honestly would would want to do all of it again because it was that good yeah so yeah i hope you enjoy it let me know if you enjoy it if you like this one better than the first one is the first one better uh what you think about the third one coming out eventually you know and otherwise i will see you uh on the next time on the cheap and planner